What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my Jack and Daxter, the Pre Precursor Legacy Let's Play. Today, we're going to be playing the Forbidden Jungle. And uh, I am pretty sure we get to 100% it. And I think we get a couple more uh, orbs from Sandora Village, too. This has always been one of the more beautiful areas to me, just because you get to see all the green and stuff going around. You don't really get to see that much green, like, later on in the game. It's mainly just, like, this beginning area. Because the other areas, like, relate more towards what their sage is. The Sandover Village sage is the green sage, of course, so, uh... Yeah, and then I believe there's a blue sage and then a red sage? Uh, yeah. So, when I was a kid, I actually didn't know about some of the orbs here. Like, obviously, I knew there were a couple orbs I didn't get, but I didn't know how to get them. I will tell you which ones those are. But to begin with, we're just going to collect all these precursor orbs around the beginning area. Ow, we just got bit by a fish. All right. And you also get to play one of my favorite mini games here, too. Um, which we will do in a second. Actually, no, I'm going to save that for a little bit later because I will have to come over here. And, uh, anyways. Um, sorry, I'm having trouble speaking today for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> or at least in this episode, I feel like I've been somewhat fine in the other ones. Ooh, stay away from the fish. Uh, did I get everything over here? I think I did. Yeah, I did. Okay. Oh. Alright, let's hop back across over here. I know I'm kind of going in circles right now. Alright. Get out of here, you snake. Oh. I wonder where these snakes are even hanging from. Like, is there even a tree over me right there? Okay, let's get rid of you. Let's just head over here before we do anything else. Get out of here. Let's grab this stuff fly right here. And you'll see where all these little tentacle things are coming from, by the way, here in like probably like 10, 15 minutes. And hopefully we can take care of that problem. Alright. So let's hop up here, grab all these orbs, and this will actually like lead to the first orb that I didn't really know about as a kid. Ooh, no, I fell. Okay. So, before we do what we're actually supposed to do up here... Let me up. Okay, so before we do anything, we're gonna run right into this like laser beam looking thing. It'll give me blue eco. Turn around, run up this ramp, and open the door. I never knew you could do that. I always saw the door, I never knew how to open it. I just assumed there was some kind of like button or something I had to like press to open it up, but no, that's all you gotta do. All right, now we can actually continue on with this part. Let me up. And what you're supposed to do is break this thing. So it like unblocks the uh, laser. Alright. Oh, nope, I'm about to die. That's gonna be sad. I've played this game too many times. Alright. Uh, let's use this real quick. And you kind of follow where that orange little arrow is going. So, point it directly at that one. And we are actually gonna go redirect that one real quick. Because then we don't have to come back over to this corner. I found the little fact. I'm pretty sure this is like one of the first, if not the first, like HD collection. Because they made this before Ratchet and Clank HD, before um, like Psy Cooper, before the uh, what's it called? My mind is blinking right now. It's like the Final Fantasy Disney ones. <laughs> Kingdom Hearts. That's what's called. Let's go to the next tower and reconnect the beam there. I need to be very careful because I only have one hit left. Oh god. Don't want to fall in the water right now. Alright, we could just go directly over there and redirect that one, but we're going to be in that area a little bit later anyways. So before we do anything, let's just hop down here and hopefully we don't die. I'm just going to collect these real quick. We don't need it right now, but... There we go. <laughs> I was just mainly doing it to make that part easier. Alright, let's dive. I never really liked the diving in this game. 
Like, you could grab the blue eco to make these ones easier to grab, but it's not a big deal. And we get a uh, power cell right here. I almost called it a brick curse orb. <laughs> All right, turn around. We are going to just go through this little valley and collect everything we can real quick. Go, go, go. Oh, I did not hit that. Oh, I'm losing control. Okay. Oops. So I didn't really mention it, but you have to kind of make a mad dash for this thing when you have the blue eco. And boom. Can you give me life, please? No. All right. And then there's these orbs, and then I believe we are completely done with this little valley area. I don't believe they have any more recurse orbs, that way. Although that might be connected to where we're, we want to go for the uh, fishermen. Get out of here. Don't hurt me. Come on. I just need a couple of them to drop four. All right, we want to do this real quick. We're not going to be able to get all these precursor orbs up here, but we will get them in a little bit. It's just we, it's easier to get these ones now. And there's someone up there, which we can't really grab right now. Let's go, we got the health. I'm not going to die right now. Oh God, I almost just lost it immediately. Get out of here, you frog. All right. Uh, I think we're almost done collecting the, like, recourse orbs in these kind of areas. And we got another scout fly just chilling up here. Um, is that it? Other than those three. And you can kind of see scout fly, like, directly across over there, which you will see how to get that in a little bit. Oh, God. I think I collected everything there, so let's just hop down here. And we get to play one of my favorite minigames as a child. What do you have in the basket? Nothing to talk about. Them monsters patrolling the ocean took a bite out of me fishing ring. And now they're gobbling up me catch! No matter what I try, I can't seem to catch a single fish in this river. Woo! Maybe it's your breath. You think you can do better? Try scooping up river fish with a tiny net. I'll give you a power set if you can catch 200 pounds of them critters. And then I'll let you and Shrimp here use my speedboat to get to Misty Island. He's want to try the challenge. Of course we do. I also love Daxter's sass in this game. It just adds, it just adds a lot, especially because Jack doesn't talk in this game. He's kind of a mute, if you haven't noticed by now. There are two types of good fish to catch. One pound fishies and five, five pound, pound fishies. fishies. If you miss 20 pounds of good fish, then I'm gonna take me net back from you. There are poisonous eels in this river. Catch even a one of them boogers and you'll poison the whole darn catch. I feel like the fact alone that there's poisonous eels in this like little river makes it to where this should not be a good fishing spot. Oh, I just missed one already. Here comes a big one. These ones are fine to miss. It's these yellow ones that you really don't want to miss because like if you miss four, then you're just done. You have a little bit more uh, room to miss the green ones. Steady boy. Nice, 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 nice. And as you can see, as you go, they come a lot faster. And eventually there's going to be a point where there's a lot more eels that you want to dodge. Yeah, I used to absolutely love this game. I don't know why. Just satisfying, you know. All right, almost halfway there already. Oh, they make some of these so hard to grab. Come on, just send a lot of yellow ones down. Okay, that was pretty good, actually. I'm actually kind of surprised I didn't miss any there. Keep them coming. Just send the yellow ones down. I'm so nervous I'm going to accidentally like swing into one. Like when I'm trying to dodge them. Ooh, don't want that. 
Let's go. You caught 200 pounds of fish. Not bad for a couple of landlubbers. Here's the power cell I promised. And you can use my boat at the village dock whenever you like. All right, get another trophy. And if it wasn't clear, that empty hut that was in the village earlier that we went into, that was by the uncle hut, I think that's his. Not even I think, it is his. <laughs> I used to think that was Jack's uh, little hut or home, but it's not. I don't know if he just like lives with his uncle or anything. Or if he's just homeless, I don't know. <laughs> Alright, so where was that other thing? We did that one. It's up there. So let's just go grab that real quick while we're over here. Because I think we're right next to where the next one is anyways. Dude. Camera, work with me, please. Oh, God. All right. Okay. We're there. A little bit of trouble there, but we got it. All right. It is going to pop up right here. As I was saying, we are right next to it. And that's the last one in this area before we have to, like, head back towards Sandover for one. So. Oh, God. I fell. So let's just grab this real quick and then we don't got to worry about it until we are leaving this area. Dude, I can't see. That almost just made me fall. I feel like I'm taking such a bad route to do all this stuff. Like I'm running kind of back and forth between places. Get out of here. All right, that's going to be the last one. Not this one, but that one. I think that one just strikes to the uh, mayor's house, but we don't got to do that right this second because we are going to head back over to Sandover after we finish all the stuff here so that we can collect a couple more uh, power cells from there. But now we get to the fun part. We get to fight the boss of the area. Oh God, that was not good. Oh, I missed two orbs here. Yeah, I didn't even realize it was just kind of a good thing I went this way. Okay. You get out of the way. Let's just get these real quick. I need to get that last thing back, which we shouldn't have a problem with. And another cool way to utilize this uh, blue ego right here. Use it to build these precursor artifact kind of things. I guess that's not really an artifact, but... And then we can open the door. Okay, so you're supposed to go left there. Before we do that, we're going to hop up here. And you might know where this is going already. There is this scout fly that we saw from the outside earlier. Oh, God. All right, so we need one more scout fly. Um, not sure how many more precursor orbs we need for this area. But I believe there's only a couple more power cells, too. Oh, for some reason, I was expecting it to just give it to me. Right, do this. Alright, here is the last scaffi. Let's go. Give me that power cell. And that health, let's go. Alright, let's just pause it and see where we're at right now. Connect the eco beams, which we're pretty much done with. Get to the top of the temple, which we're almost there. Find the blue vent switch which will be a little bit later and we don't know what that one is yet we will see what it is all right these are always fun to play with they could uh just make you jump really high in the air that was a weird noise all right make our way to the top we are almost there we can see the power cell right there sitting right in front of us waiting for us to grab it boom all right, so we got three more. Um, after we collect that, it should unlock this little button. We just jump on and press it, and it'll bring us down into the Forbidden Jungle Temple. I actually don't know what this temple's called. I don't know if that's what it's called, or if it's like a precursor or something temple. <laughs> All right, so we're going to see this jump pad. Yeah, we're going to so come back to this later. Because we do Double need the blue eco for that. Us. Bring me across. All 
night. I just recently watched uh, Cod Brothers play this, and he mentioned that this area kind of reminds him of Crash. I totally agree. I had to pause real quick. All right, I'm back. Oh, I'm sorry if you heard that through the mic, the phone uh, ringing. Oh god, I almost slipped off. All right, so this is the blue eco van, which means we get another power cell and maybe a trophy. I don't know if this is actually a trophy or not. I don't think so. If it hasn't popped up yet, I guess we just did it. But wow, did you see that? Okay, blue I guess not. Eco vents have been activated all over the world. I knew there was a way to turn them on. There must be places to turn on the other eco vents as well. I'm actually kind of surprised that it isn't a uh, trophy. Because that is kind of a big thing, opening up all the blue vents in the world. Alright, now we can do this part. Jump up, grab all these orbs. Come back here, grab blue eco again, open the door, and we want to kind of hurry over here. So we can jump up this one. But you have kind of a lot of time, so it's not like a big rush. Right, why don't I just get this little uh, vine thing out of the way. And then we get our first boss right here. It's like a dark eco plant thing, whatever. All right. So it's gonna take three hits to beat this guy. Oh God. That was just bad. Okay. I wasn't sure if he's gonna attack him or not. All right, one hit. Hopefully we can get this without getting hit anymore by these guys. I hope they... <gasps> No, I did it a little bit too early. Don't worry, I'll avenge you. That's unfortunate. What? Okay, attempt number two. I won't even like pause the recording. <laughs> We're not that far behind. Do I have to do this again? No, okay, it saves your uh, precursor or progress. All right. Attempt number two at this guy. Oh, I almost just ran right into him. That would have been bad. You are supposed to go up, mister. Not by me. I was actually afraid he was going to do that again. Okay, I think it's a strat to just sit here and wait for them to, like, take away their things. Ow. Okay, I hit the second one a little bit too soon. Okay. Hit number two. Stand at the corner again. Hopefully I don't take damage again. Got three of these little buggers here. Okay, there we go. That time was 10 times better than my last two times. And then I believe this is the final hit. I almost missed that. It looked like I was going to fall off. And we get a power cell. But before we do that, you can actually jump on this guy and he spits out a couple of precursor orbs. It's either 5 or 10. That's 3, 4, 5. Okay, so it's only 5. Let's grab this real quick. Black thumb. Let's go. Got two trophies this uh, episode. That's more than any other episode so far. I wonder if we get any more. Like for turning on the power. Okay, those were the last precursor orbs that I uh, left earlier. And I believe that's all that we could do here, other than finish this. So now we can finally go back and uh, connect this final power thing. Power tower. Blah, blah, blah. Can't speak. What is it called again? Eco beam. We get to finish the last ego beam. Like I said earlier in the episode, I cannot talk right now for some reason. Alright. We get to just connect this to the mayor's house. I think. I think the last one was already directed at the house, so. Okay, yeah. And now we get the windmill going. We should go tell that windbag of the mayor that he owes us big time for connecting the village energy beam. You got it, Daxter. You were thinking exactly what I was thinking. Which I think we have enough. Um, yeah, we definitely have enough precursor orbs right now to go to uh, that guy up there. I always forget what he's, his name is or what he's called. It's like precursor or something. But um, we're not going to do that right now. I'm going to wait till later till when we can just get Let's both at once. Speedboat at the dock. 
Yeah, that's the speedboat down there. He gave us permission after we beat the minigame, I believe, and that will take us to Misty Island, which we will go in either... I think it's... I think we're going there in two episodes. I think we're going to go over to Sentinel Beach next. But let's talk to Mr. Mayor. Oh, what a wonderful sight. I thank you. The entire village will thank me. Uh, boys, you have restored power to the village and guaranteed my re-election. And for that, my boy, you've earned a power cell. All right, we got a trophy there, which I actually didn't expect. I mean, I guess I kind of guessed that earlier, but we got one, thankfully. And now let's trade in 90 orbs for a power set. So uh, you uh, want to make a contribution? Good. A, a sizable one, I hope. You! <laughs> oh, it is a sizable contribution. I, well, 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 I, I, I just hope this power cell adequately represents my gratitude. Okay. As much as I didn't want to donate money to this guy for his uh, mayorship, we get a power cell out of it, so I guess it's okay. But, uh, yeah. If we go here, we can see we got two more for Sandover Village, which is the two Oracle things. That's what he's called. And everything else is 100%. Of course, not Sentinel Beach. We haven't been there yet, but Forbidden Jungle is done. We are going to be going to Sentinel Beach next, which is right over here. Might have seen it a little bit when I ran over here before going for that scout fly. But I'm going to end it right here. So yeah, that'll do it for this episode. If you enjoyed, please feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.